All right, this is um, problem number five from, uh, this is PQ number five from unit S concept three, which is a sine squared of X times cosine squared of X. Uh, to simplify this, we'd have to uh, use the power re reducing formulas that are given to us in the unit S packet, which are these three, but we're not gonna use a tangent squared of U because it's not in the problem. So to simplify this expression, we substitute in these power reducing formulas. For sine squared of x, it would be one minus cosine of two u all over two. And then for cosine squared of x, it'd be one plus cosine of two u all over two. Now the, the u, that's just uh, x right now, so let's just substitute that in. After that, we'd FOIL this out, and if we FOIL that out, it'd be 1 times 1 would be 1. Negative cosine of x times positive cosine of x would be cosine squared of 2x. Uh, I misspoke when I said of x, it'd be cosine of 2x. And then after that, it would be, let's see, Negative cosine of 2x times 1 would be negative cosine of 2x. And then positive cosine of 2x times 1 would be positive cosine of 2x. Now you can see that these two cancel. So I'll just take that off. So it would be 1 minus cosine squared of 2x times, you have to remember to multiply the denominators. We'd get times over 4. Okay, after that, we we cannot have the a higher power than one for this one, for this type of problem. So we what we would do, we would uh, uh, again use the power reducing formula to reduce the power. So for this one, it'd be cosine squared of 2x equals 1 plus cosine of 2x all over 2 but since this is 2x right here we have to this x is another variable it'd be u actually and u right now this is u so since this is u since this one's u we plug this one in so 2u since u is since this u is 2x 2 times 2x would make 4x. So we plug this this expression back into this expression. So we we get one mi minus one plus cosine of four x all over two all over four. We distribute the negative to this whole thing. So we get one plus negative one minus cosine of 4x all over 2 all over 4 now after that we would make this into 2 over 2 so we get the same denominator and then we could rewrite it like this and now you can see that you can combine like terms now 2 minus 1 would be 1 now you just write down what's left and after that, you can have to multiply by the reciprocal. So you can cancel stuff out. Because this is 4 times 1, you just cancel stuff out. And then you just multiply the rest. So this would get us the answer. 1 minus cosine of 4x all over 8. And that's the answer for sine squared of x times cosine squared of x.